Hello, Monsters of here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 18, part 18 of my almost all my Throck campaign, where I remember to turn on the end game camp. I, I, I've been fiddling about with the mods configuration tool. Uh, so this is like, what can I get? Ikak Flayer, Slambo. Oh, there's a guy. Holy shit. Lindsay Lords. There's Thyrus. A bunch of stuff there, Lord Morskitar. Oh. And Cratch Doomclaw. But apparently they are in thingy magic. I don't know Val near the Reaper was a special guy. Oh, okay. Alright, well, there we go. I've been mucking about with uh, the end game crisis thingy magics. So we should see a few pop up. Exciting. Ah, you're back. Lovely. Right, I'm going to bring you down here. What I might... Uh, where do I want to... S oh, yeah, I was going to put him in Kazakarak, wasn't I? If we stick him in Kazakarak, I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the plan. Right, Grunberg. Uh, we want the pastures there, don't we? Yes. And I think we need, we need some defences, because this is just getting s silly. It's just getting silly. We've got pastures there. Karaburg has pastures as well. But it's part of Middenheim. It's going to be all... Festus will have corruption there and everything. Oh, I don't know. Well, no, it's doesn't actually affect us all that much, does it? Oh, it's probably fine. Probably. I think we've run out of money, though. Have we run out of money? We have. And mutagen. We could do the mutagen. I'm going to hold the mutagen. Hold the mutagen. Did we have... Did, did, oh, what's going on over here? All oh, right, yeah. Uh, Gorsal got sacked. Yes, but we dealt with them. That's good. Right. Okay, good. I'm, I'm back in the room. I know what we're doing now. Well, sort of, anyway. Hello. Heroic victory. Really? Wow. Otter. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, okay, what's going on here? You are... T okay, I didn't really want to be at war with Archeon. <sighs> but, I guess that's just where we are. We're going to jump in and help out, Throg. You... no. No, it's amazing how Archeon just... He just starts a lot of fights, doesn't he? Like, come on, mate. Try some diplomacy. You ever heard of that? A little bit of diplomacy? Oh, boil rain, not again. Mate, please. Come on. Black and tattered sails. Okay. Good o. Let us let's go and hang out over here somewhere. Uh, you are making are you making a break for Altdorf? I get the feeling you might be. Okay, we'll hop you over there. We will hop you over there. You are going. Oh, I what I, what I would like to do is like just if we can take out. Sylvania. That's that's the power base of the vampires. That will just put a that'll, that'll put a stop to him, won't it? So if we come if we come over here and grab Waldenhof. So we'll grab this like a little safe haven. And then what we can do is move down to Eschen. And then if we can take out Castle the Drakenhof. Not an easy task. But I feel like we can do it. The Wood Elves have taken Helmgar. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, how if do you feel? Yeah. Wild hunt would trample you into the earth. Okay. Well, you don't seem to. Right. You're friends with Bretonia, which means you're probably going to want to kill me at some point. If anything, it's kind of a surprise that you're not trying to kill me now. All right. We're gonna we're gonna scooch down here. You. I'm gonna do a little ambush. I feel like I feel like these guys might want to try and take Marienburg. 
Let's repair that. We'll build the defenses there. Uh, oh, you don't have the public order building. Do we need the public order building? That doesn't help with the public order, does it? Yeah, we need the public order building. Let's build that. We've got the Marienburg port coming online. That's going to give us some some nice cash. And I'm kind of glad we've got Metastone here now. If we're going to be at war with fucking, fucking Archeon, where is he? Where is the prick? Ah, oh, you know, all of this bullshit. That's not, it's not the best. It's not the best. What is our outpost? Outpost is level two. What, what pray tell can we... Uh, if I accept that. Kill Marcus. We'll kill Marcus. You want me to kill Serena as well? Sure, why not? You also want me to. You if I come to me, if we just kill Serena, that'll cheer up a lot of people. Apparently, a lot of people do not like Serena. I don't know why. Do we want plague? It's no harm. No harm in having a bit of plague, is there? All right, you come this way. And we'll slap a plague in the midst of Bretonia and hope it doesn't, this like, boil over into us. Right, you're going to go in there. I'm getting a doom wheel for no particular reason other than I feel like it. And actually, actually, let's think about this. Can we get a... Yes. Yes, we're going to get two giants. And we're going to mutate the... Fuck out of them. You see if I don't. Why are you so sad? What's your problem? Provincial instability? Ah, you're fine. You're gonna rebel in two turns. Okay, you're not fine. Do you have. Oh, you don't have the public order building. That's probably what I was gonna do. Okay, we're not done that. We get a public order building in there. It's fine, he says. We could always run back to placate them a little bit. Speak too slow. I Hello, Azizel. Wow, you do want to give me a lot of money to fight the Wood Elves, but no. I have no doubt they will declare war on me eventually. Where's this? Gromberg? Ah, oh, I just built Gromberg. Fucking Bretonians. I need to need to secure Altdorf. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a front line. Oh, they're dead. What the fuck happened to them? Dwarves? Oh, well, that's not good. That's not good. I'm gonna assume the dwarves aren't gonna like me very much. Just get that feeling. I just get a feeling they're not gonna like me very much. Okay, you have not moved. You have not moved. Also, we're going to imminent rebellion. Where? Nordland. Oh! Right. Yeah, we're going to need... We're going to need that. And also, I'm going to need to do that. Which is going to hurt my income a little bit. But it is going to stop them rebelling. And I don't have any armies nearby to put a stop to that. Good, good, good. Uh, let's get some storm vermin. Probably want about five storm vermin. And then I think we go with other things. I want a couple of weapon teams, if possible. Let's get the Taskmaster's platform there. You're going to rebel before that. So I think I'm going to have to turn that off as well, which is really going to hurt my income. Maybe we can fix that if we sack the shit out of Tempelhof. It does have a garrison. It gets it... Macho Man Randy Savage. Get the fuck in there. Get the fuck in there. And take these bastards out. Right, let's see if we can do some damage to Vlad's. 
I was kind of hoping to keep Vlad on sides. But uh, my allies have forced my hands. So we're going to attack the city at its weakest point, which is this section here, because it has no towers. The closest towers are these ones. So we attack this section, and uh, they can't do anything about it. And to be honest, it, f fighting them in this choke point is actually better for me than them. So we have the Gutter Runner Slingers laying down fire. Grave Guards taking a look. I mean, it's, it, it's not doing too much damage. They only have 31 missile strength. It's not an awful lot, but as you can see, it is slowly sort of like whittling them down, particularly when they are not uh, facing their shielded sides to us. So we're getting attacks in the rear. That is actually having a, a fairly good effect. We're through the gates, of course, with our Hell Pits Abomination. The Rat Ogres, the Pit Fighters of Hell's Deep. And so far, so good. They have a lot of Grave Guard, but they don't actually have any killer units. Like, they're quite tanky, but actual killing power is fairly low. What we want to do, though, is try and get the weapon teams in here. So we're trying to push them back away from the gate. We're going to bring the Mort Fire Throwers in and the Teeth Breakers. If we can set them up, then we should be able to knock out what's left of the garrison. And uh, we do have the upper hand here. You can see the enemy garrison is going down pretty quickly. The Doom Wheel actually doing a lot of damage. Actually more damage than I thought they would do. And uh, Macho Man Randy Savage... Now, he ends this battle on a lot of kills, and I genuinely don't know how, so I'm interested to find out exactly what the fuck happens. So he's just chopping his way through. So he's getting he's getting bats in the face there. It's unfortunate for him. Hey, now, how the fuck have you got 129 kills? What the fuck? 130? He had six before, right? How's he got 131 kills now? What have you done? What the fuck happens? Oh well. I get the feeling you might be cheating. How many kill kills? Oh, uh, a million. Are you sure, Randy? Yes. Okay, we need to get some more fire on these. Yeah, well, like that. There we go. That is going to be doing so much damage. And the Warp Lightning coming in as well. Trying to help Randy out. He's got 149 kills, and I don't know where that's come from. Oh, shit. You know what? I do know. He had the fucking... He had, he had, the, the, sto he had the, the scroll of stone, didn't he? He dropped it on... That's where they came from. I was like, what What ability do you have? But no, I forgot I gave him the scroll of stone and used it. That's That's why... He's got 131 kills. Well, good job. I thought he'd done it by himself, like, just with his throwing shurikens. Which would have been very cool, but I didn't I didn't think it would... I didn't think that was probably accurate. So helping out Randy there by hosing down his enemies with uh, copious amounts of warp fire. I mean, hosing down Randy as well. But that's fine, I think. Pushing back the Grave Guards. Weapon teams really are paying for themselves. The only problem is, I don't think the weapon teams will be that effective against High Elves. And um, High Elves are the vast majority of our foes at the moment. I, I think, like, a shit ton of, of clan Molder monsters is probably far more effective at killing, killing High Elves. Because you can get into melee combat with them a ASAP and just rip them limb from limb. 
Oh, poor old Randy getting attacked once again. I mean, he's got 163 kills. He's got over 1,000 damage dealt as gold, which is very effective. Those warp fire throwers, though, just lighting everything up. 196 kills. Look at that. If you can keep the enemy away from them, they just... They do so much good. Very satisfactory. I'm going to sack that. Suck it. Uh, I guess we just rush this way. I can take a little bit of attrition. You, I'm assuming, have turned up to try and defend. Defend that. Right. With with all this with all this oodles of money, what can we do? What can we do? What do I want to do? Probably build one of those. Absolutely not. No, oh, well, I'm going to. Walk forward. Right, let's build defenses there. Altdorf needs its defenses. I would also like an underdock. Uh, Eelheart. Where's Eelheart? Eelheart is over there. Eelheart is fairly protected. If we can get the defenses there, we'll be fine. Grumberg is, is not so good. We're working on it. Chad, I'm going to slip you down here. And you know what? Telsian, you're going to go and crush the Empire. Finish him off. I think they've only got the one army left. Ballistic calibrations. Sure. Don't know if that's actually going to be any use. But sure, let's do that. What else do we have? Anything? I should probably like merge some man things, slaves. Talisman of Endurance? It's alright, isn't it? If we merge those, we can get a blue. Obsidian Blade. Okay, the Obsidian Blade's actually very good. The Execution is an axe. That is quite good. The Obsidian Blade just gives you a hundred. I think I'm going to go with that, because it, it just gives you 100 armor-piercing damage, which is flat damage, and then also boosts your weapon strength. And Gorich is already quite a killy boy. And now he's more killy. Jeff, I want to know what's going on the coast, because it looks like we've got elves. Oh, shut up. You're such a, you're such a bore, Eltharian. Fuck me. I'm always wittering on about vengeance for my dead dad. The are ageless. Yeah, but your dead dad didn't know about your fucking sex dungeon, did he? Or maybe he did. So he offed himself. Okay, let's upgrade to. Wait, is that 20 to 40? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, that'll give us a little bit of food coming in as well. I think it's important to balance the food. So we're getting... We're spending 15 on the Undercity, but we get 7. If, if we can just expand this a little bit. Which is currently not happening. I'm tempted to, like, boost it. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's do it. Let us double our chance to to expand. Do I want gutter wise? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Did that I get infiltrator? Uh, mutagenic elixirs. Sure. You're not gold chevron yet. You're getting there. I do like replenish troops, and then we can get precise. Uh, we'll go and take Eshin. We've sacked Temple, Castle Temple off. I don't know why those guys are there. I'm not going to bother repairing Grunberg, because they'll probably just sack it again. Oh, I forgot to move Throt. Uh, and you as well. That's the problem. When, you, when you're... When you're 
It'd be nice if it would flag it if your guys, like, haven't used their full movement. Celestra. Hello, my dear. Uh, military access. You know what? Sure. I, I reckon we could be friends. I'm a, bit, I'm a bit surprised Luon didn't attack us. I thought he would. Little confederation there is good, because that is going to make Malekith that little bit stronger. We've got the growth fat, which is nice. I do remember, need to remember to... Spe oh, do we have our giants yet? Yeah! Right, boys. It's time. It's time to improve you. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Okay, we've well got 50 armor. You don't need weeping blades. 20% weapon strength is quite nice, though. This is this is just more weapon strength, right? Wow, already. Already just hideously mutated. Wow, bugger. Never mind. Uh, 840. That's pretty good. Bonus first infantry. Cellular instability. Hmm... More melee attack and weapon strength is good. I'm tempted to give you the hunger, because if I give you the hunger, then you'll regenerate in melee combat, and also you'll never run away. New aberration. <laughs> so, you've now got 910 weapon strength. 69 melee attack, the sexiest amount of melee attack to have. Plus, you regenerate in combat. I mean, your friends, unfortunately... Do we... Do we... He only got one upgrade, didn't he? I'm gonna... I'm gonna juice him, I think. They, these, these are my masterpiece. So we're gonna get another one. And we're going to get another one of you. We're just slowly recruiting that. You are recruiting shit, which I do not like. I cannot... Oh, can't. Nope, don't have the money. Okay, run over here. We will heal up, and then we'll consider going back down to deal with... 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 Johan. We cannot reach you, which is a problem, but we can reach you. So if I just if I just kill everyone here, raise it. You no longer have anywhere to live, right? You are fucked. The Empire has but one guy. Oh, they fled that they fled the fort. Which means I can easily take that. Do I want to occupy it? I mean, not really, but... Not really, but I will. It's, it's not a great little garrison there, is it? Oh, good. Alistair's here as well. It's just... Apparently all the elves just want to come and see me. I'm bl hashtag blessed. I cannot rewrite the Fuck me. That is a lot of elves. What? What? Do, unless I invade Ulthwan and just like torch the place, which I think might I might have to. Who likes me? Right, you like me. Where's Malekith? Nagarond. I was friends with your mum. And, for no once, I didn't sleep with her. Okay, I think we can get you on side. You are strength rank 10. Who's right? So, you're 1, you're 4, I'm 3. We don't know who 2 is. Oh, I would be at war with 4 people in the top 10, wouldn't I? 
at least one person in the top 10 is my ally. Where's... Okay, wins two for strength rank 44. Really? What happens? I thought you were doing okay. You got a couple of armies over here, Throg, mate. Mate, you got, you got like a couple of armies. You should be fine. Honestly. All right, well, a fetid grain marsh doesn't sound particularly appetizing. We're going to build defenses all over this. Something like that. Right, Macho Man Randy Savage, you are the, the the rat who is going to purge Sylvania. That is your job. I wasn't talking to you. In the meantime, let us scamper on down here. So we've pushed in that direction. We've sacked that. I think that's good. I think we've moved everyone. Do we want... So we've got... Uh, don't need that. Could make you faster, but to be honest, you're already pretty fucking fast. Uh, is there anything I actually kind of... I've basically got everything I wanted. I give you, I'll, I'll give you a warpstone weapon, simply because I don't know what else to give you. I've got five more skill points. I guess I could give you Ruin and Decay. I guess... Jeff! Right, we can make you a hero catcher. That's going to increase your chance to stab people. So I'm hoping that you're a very good stabby boy. Vlad, peace treaty. I have just noticed that Altharian has more fleets approaching the wastelands. So... I think I'll take that and I'll leave my allies to kick the shit out of you while I deal with the the oncoming elven issue. Which apparently I now have. Dust it off, Chads! What have we got? Enriched warpstone dust. Or Chad becomes badly mutated. Um, I think I'll just make him snort it. Right, Grumberg was sacked. Tough. Chad is badly mutated. Never mind. Let's get you up here ASAP. We're basically going to abandon this. I do not care what happens to it. Not my problem anymore. Meanwhile... Uh, right. Telsian, you are going to... I need you back in our own territory, ideally. Here is fine. We do have Durthu. So Chad is going to... Oh, Durthu's running away. All right, you can heal up. That's the plan there. Chad is going to roll over Durthu. Pyrrhic victory. Really? Against that? Are you Are you serious? A Pyrrhic vic medium casualties. Okay. For the Lady Ariel. Pyrrhic victory. Seriously. Seriously, Order of Lolf. Are you shitting me? Right, well. First things first. We're going to kill the Glade Guards to make sure they're no longer shooting us with their stupid little poncy bows. And second of all, we're going to shoot Durthu to pieces with the, uh, with the Chisales. Okay, they're definitely not shooting their bows at me anymore. We do have a horde of wolf rats and brood horrors on the flank there just waiting to charge in. Giselle's not quite able to, to tackle Durthu. They've managed to pick off some of his health, which is good. 
But we have some war dancers and dryads currently attacking our front lines, while the rest of the army apparently goes to chase the brood horrors for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Meanwhile, the warhawk riders, obviously problematic, uh, but the Gisales will pick them off very, very quickly. The the hawk riders just very, very resist, not resistant, very fragile. That's it. Very vulnerable to enemy missile fire, and the Gisales are accurate and long range. Just just a nightmare for the Hawk Riders. So they're being picked off very quickly. And also the Hawk Riders don't seem to do any damage either. They're just not... It, just, just take a unit of Glade Guard. It's, it's way better. A unit of Dryads is charging towards us. So we're going to counter charge. I said we're going to counter charge. I said, there we go. Om nom 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 nom. And the Brood Horror is getting stuck in there as well. Those Dryads going down very quickly. Yep, they are. They're out of here. So they're getting picked off once again. It's Glade Guard coming back. And our monstrous units murdering the Treekin. They, they, take, they took out the uh, war dancers and now they're just pummeling the Treekin into oblivion. Those weeping blades reducing their armor by 50%. Very, very nasty. So those Treekin really do need that armor to... They're, they're tanky. They're just... That's that's all they are. They're tanky. Okay, we need to take out this tree man because he is kicking the shit out of our mutant rat ogre. Chad rushing in to assist. Backed up by some clan rats. And then we've got a bit of a, a blob occurring as Durthu joins the Treekin to try and save them. Backing them up with a few few Dryads. But here come the Brood Horrors. The Brood Horrors do have a lot of melee attack and uh, have quick attacks. They're kind of like giant wolf rats. And as such, they, they can like do a chunk of damage to units like Durthu. If we can get a surround on Durthu, then Durthu is in a lot of trouble. We're just mopping up the survivors. The Warhawks have returned. All we just, all we just need to do is concentrate the Gisales back on them. I'm trying to take them out with the Plague Claw Catapults. They're not that accurate. They might, they might clip one or two. But much better to get the Gisales concentrating their fire on them. That'll be far more useful. The Tree Man fleeing the battlefield. Chad chasing him down there. He is gone. Durthu now, the only thing on the battlefield apart from these Dryads who apparently now rallied. Are they rallied or are they going to run away? They did just take a blatting. Nope, they are running away. The Hawk, can you, can you guys please fuck off? Gisales, would you mind just... Could you, could you deal with this? Thanks, lads. And there we go. That's more like it. Pyrrhic fucking victory indeed. Absolute scenes. Oh, but the Heralds of Ariel. Oh, they're definitely going to declare war on me. Definitely going to declare war on me. Okay, we'll sort that in a second. Oh, I kind of need to go off and deal with that now. I don't really. I don't, if I lot, if I lose Fort Bergbers, I'm not. I'm not that bothered. And the garrison here, I'm hoping, should be tanky enough uh, to keep keep the elves at bay. We can, but hope. Master engineer. All right. What are we doing here? So we've got. We want another. Another one of you. And. Then I've run out of money. Still, if we can if we can pack the other Norsecan giant full of full of juice. Maybe it's one of my brood. Well, maybe. Chad, let's do something. You've only got one weapon team, but one day maybe you'll have more. Maybe. You never know. Never know your luck. Swalzilla, I do like with her. And Jeff. 
Can you stab this guy? You You had a 77% chance, Jeff. Fucking, fucking Jeff. I can't even spread plague, I'm that poor. Can I... Mm, you know what, we'll cancel that, because I really want to spread plague on you. Boop. Okay, fingers crossed for the old plague spreads. It's got five turns. What now? It, apart from the vermin hides, what do we have? Under right. So this is not really that useful. It's not really that useful. We do have the vermin tides. So a Skaven army summoned upon building completion. Army size and strength can be increased by technology. So if we if we build the vermin tides, it takes six turns. It does massively increase discoverability. So the likelihood of them destroying the camp before it gets spotted is pretty high. Unless we build the Heidi buildings first. Because that's 40. That's another 40. So that's 80. So it, theoretically, you can hide the camp. I'm not sure how quick the AI is to take out any under cities, but considering they've basically got almost infinite money, I would suggest it's, they're not going to find it particularly hard. Hey, buddy, you want a peace treaty? Yeah, I'm not surprised, to be honest. You are having a... Ted, you're not having the best of times, are you? Hello? What the fuck are you doing here? Oh, not eel heart. Uh, that was like the one city I'd actually built up. No, not Fort Berg, bros. I don't care. It, now, c considering considering the sheer amount of shit being thrown at me, maybe it's best to not take Altdorf. I don't think I can take on this many factions at the same time. Chad, uh, he's got a loyal musk. I could take his eye, or I could slay an underling, uh, or I could spray him with my musk. I'm going to spray him with my musk. He's badly mutated, now he smells. It's, uh... Tough times. Tough times. Uh, let's break. Right, you were going to come down here, weren't you? You going to make it this time or just die? Oh, fucking god. God damn it, guys. That's a lot of armies. This can never come to pass. Oh, fuck. Do I just abandon this? I do like the money I'm making for Marienburg. I do like the money. It's just there's a lot of people trying to kill me currently. I don't think I can hold it. That's that. One, two, three, four, five. About six armies. About six armies just heading towards me. I mean, more ambush success chance would be nice. From dark, dark. I guess let's head up here because I just. I think we're going to have to wait for them to like spread out a bit. Okay, at least we can we can hold on to Grumberg. And I guess you need to come down here to help me. Was I not did I not recruit another one? Oh. Shit, what happens? Why don't I have an outpost anymore? I'm still allies. What the fuck happens to the outpost? Uh, did they lose it? Oh, shit. Yeah, they lost it. 
Yeah, yeah, no, they, they, they did. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, I guess... Oh, right. R right, yeah. O okay, well, this... I mean, this, this could be better, couldn't it? This whole thing. Oh. Oh, shit, son. I mean, I could get some dragon ogres. Okay, let's get some dragon ogres. And... And something like that. We'll get you. Mad beasts here. Th this this could be this could be heading south. What do we have to do to win? Just out of interest. So, for a long victory, right? We need seventy-five different settlements. We need all of that. We currently have two of the seven we need. You know what? Actually, linking up with some other Skaven may not be the worst thing. <laughs> Trying to try, try, try to find other Skaven to be friends with. Assuming they're not already dead. Thanks. Uh, right, we, we... If I give you... I should have kept some of the bell polishers, shouldn't I? I I've merged them, and that was the wrong, the wrong choice. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, right. I mean, we could we could just pull back, right? If the if the elves slam into Festus, who I'm sure is at war with them, or well, most of them. That is that is something. Um, so we're not in like imminent danger. We could we can fall back, right? It would be annoying to lose Marienburg because it's giving us a lot of money. But if we do, we do. Jeff, you had like 70... This is 50... You've got a 56% chance to stab someone. No, Jeff. You let yourself down. And also me. Mostly me. Okay. You are down there. I'm going to assume that you're going to want to attack this settlement. So we'll rush down here to defend it. I'm going... I'm going to ignore... I'm going to ignore Balthazar for the moment because, I'm going to be honest, I don't... I just don't have the time to tangle with him as well. Where's where's my boy? There he is. Okay, you're you're almost at the front lines, which is good. Let's move you guys this way. This, this is the main problem. The the unending tides of of high elves heading towards me. That's my main concern. If we, Jeff. Can you just stab someone, Jeff? Please. Please, Jeff. For fuck's sake. Jeff. Get your shit together, Jeff. I need I need this, Jeff. Alright, Jeff. Also, I need Barrier back. It's making so much money for me. I don't want to lose it. I say, not, not the end of the world, but most vexing, nonetheless. Uh, we have... We have our... Uh, I didn't... I, I've been trying to keep out of Archeon's way for the most part. Ever since my Grimgore campaign, I've just been... I've just been trying to keep... And, and I, I was really hoping that maybe we could get all the Chaos Boys together and we could all be friends. Do I auto resolve this or do I not trust the auto resolve? I don't think I trust the auto resolve.
considering the sheer number of armies nearby, I think I need to be as efficient as possible, which means giving this ambush the personal touch. I reckon we can come out of this with, with zero casualties. Yeah, already most of the High Elven units are broken. Or breaking. The, uh, the Storm Ride is holding on for slightly longer, but the Rat Ogre is just running roughshod over them. The little command group at the front made of slightly sterner stuff. But there's no real melee characters there. It's just wizards. So we're blatting them and using the Wolf Rats to chase down the survivors to make sure as few of the pointy-eared bastards get away as possible. Okay, good. I need to defend the settlement. Chad, that's the surprise. Eltharian attacking Chad. Okay, okay. It's gonna be a little bit of a dicey fight. I think we should be okay, but that is gonna have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.